Hi, it's Roger Osborne from Beachwombing Masterclass. Today we're doing pliers versus fingers, pros and cons. Which is best and why? I haven't used pliers for about 40 years and I just caught three worms in a row without missing one with the pliers. Now these are worming pliers. I believe they're made out of a combination of graphite and plastic. And you can see if you have a closer look, they've got little teeth uh, in there. And you can buy them from most tackle shops. They're not going to rust, which is great. When I was young, I had pliers when I was about 10 years old and they were made out of brass. And they're quite heavy. But these are pretty good. Oh, this is a good example of what can happen when you use pliers. I just tried to pull him up quickly wasn't really trying that hard but you can see I've actually pulled the whole middle out of his head which is sad but that's what can happen and he's lost his set of teeth with it <laughs> well, we'll move on to the next one <laughs> not a bad little worm really good bait worm Is he going to break? Oh, look at that. That's unfortunate. If I was using my fingers when I catch the larger worms, I don't hesitate. I pull them out straight away. Because when you've got pliers, you've got to be so careful how much pressure you put on the pliers so that you don't chop the worm's head off. It gives the worm a chance to sort of get set in the sand and it becomes much harder to pull it out. And even a worm this size, you can't really pull out with one hand with the pliers. It's too strong. I mean, this, is, this would have been a reasonably good sized worm. There's one bait. I can use his head and it's a nice strong part of the worm to use for bait. But that just shows you one of the challenges of using when you're using pliers. Come on, come out. Oh, I chopped his head off that quick. Look at that. Man, I, that was so easy to chop that worm's head off. I only just... A little bit of pressure, boom. That one worked okay. Didn't chop his head off. Okay, so there you've got the little wormy. Grab. Got him like that. Pull him out. Now, if I was to pull him out, just with the pliers, I'm, he might have broken, I'm not sure. That's the first worm I've tried to catch in my fingers this morning, so one out of one. <laughs> he hasn't bitten it yet, but he oh, took off. Now I'm going to close my fingers. Oh man, he pulled through. Oh. He's a lovely worm. Really beautiful brim and whiting bait. Oh. Oh. Got him! <laughs> Here comes a wave. Got him. A little bit easier than the last one. <laughs> Here comes a wave. Oh. Gotcha. Perfect size. It's a way of coming. Gotcha. No mucking around. Pliers versus fingers. Which is better? Is one way easier than the other? Pros and cons. With pliers, it's definitely easier to grab the worm. However, it's very easy to chop the head off. And when you're catching a big worm, you need to use two hands because you, they're just too strong. You can't pull them out with one hand and the pliers. And it, when you're doing that, you lose time and the worm gets set and then it becomes a tug of war and it's really difficult to get the worm. When I teach people to catch beach worms, I find that there's two main areas where people struggle. That's in their approach to the worm and in the actual grabbing of the worm. People actually have to nail the approach first. But when, when it comes to grabbing the worm, it's easier to grab them in the pliers because you just grab the actual worm. You don't have to put your fingers in the sand. You don't put the pliers in the sand. When you use your fingers, it takes longer to master. And when I say longer, I give people regular worming lessons and I'm usually getting people catching worms in their fingers on the first lesson after about an hour. 
My preferred method is catching them in your fingers because once you've learned how to do it, you're set for life. You've always got your, your hands, your fingers, you don't have to worry about it. And when you catch worms in your fingers, they last longer, you don't damage them nearly as much. They're better for keeping for one or two days if you, want, if you don't want to go use them on that day. So fingers are definitely better, it just takes a little bit more practice to catch them in your fingers. So there you have it, pliers versus fingers. What do you do? Do you catch worms in your fingers or with pliers or are you learning? Let me know in the comments um, of your experience, any questions that you may have and make sure you look at my other videos because they've got awesome footage that will really help you in learning to catch beach worms. Like the video, subscribe for my future videos which are coming out and share it with a friend if you think it'll help someone else. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.